Hitler get elected on Monday and start throwing people into ovens on Friday? No, it was a gradual process. The first thing that Hitler did was start to write newspaper articles. Every, everything that was going wrong was the Jews' fault. They're the ones that caused all these problems. Did the Jews write their own newspaper articles and go, I disagree? So then the Jews had to wear the Star of David so we can tell who you are. Did they say, no, that's a violation of my property, privacy. I don't have to tell you. No, the Jews decided, well, it's a religious symbol. We love God. We should be proud to wear the Star of David. Eventually, the, Jew, the Germans came in and they broke all of the windows in all of the Jewish businesses in one weekend. The, the Saturday night was known as Kristallnacht, which is German for night of glass. Did the Jews rise up and say, now, damn it, you're violating my property. You shouldn't do that. No. Gosh, we don't want to make the Germans any badder than they already are. Don't piss them off. They've got guns. Eventually, the Germans are loading them up into cattle trailers, in the, on the trains. Where do you think you're going? On vacation? Where do you think they're going to take you? Well, now you're cold and naked, and they're walking you into the ovens where you're going to go to mass execution. Is it time now to raise your hand and say, you know, I tend to disagree with all this. Bang! You're dead. It's too late to complain. You should have complained at the beginning, when you at least had a chance. How bad do things have to get before you do something? Do they have to take away all your property? Do they have to license every activity that you want to engage in? Do they have to be throwing you on cattle cars before you start to say, no, wait a minute. I don't think this is a good idea. How long is it going to be before you finally resist?